Do you have an entry level GoPro Hero action camera, but would like some of the features of the more expensive GoPros? What would you say about a time lapse hack that will allow you more than the limited half second interval shots? Then you know what time it is. Tech quiz time. After purchasing the GoPro Hero 2014 model, I wanted to see if there was a way of getting some extra features out of it. So I jumped on my magic keyboard and proceeded to consult with the oracles of the internet. And that's about the time that one of the oracles exposed themselves to me. So I quickly looked away and I caught a glimpse of a Reddit post from about a year ago. This was like I had discovered the holy grail. And one user, Conrad IT, had even created a GitHub page with several hacks for all the GoPro range. You can find that link down in the description below. I delved into the code for time lapses and had a good play around with the increased intervals that I could achieve with my entry level GoPro. However, the hacker deep inside me was clawing to come out. Explore the source, John. One of the things that bugged me about the script from Conrad IT was that after every shot, the GoPro was forced into a reboot. And that's about the time that I decided to learn exactly what was happening in the script, so that way I could modify it, making it just a little bit easier and a little bit more streamlined. Another user in the same Reddit post, Colossus5421, provided two scripts that removed the rebooting and also created a loop. That wasn't too bad, but I knew that I could improve upon those scripts. Disclaimer alert. Even though this script is pretty non-volatile, this will almost certainly void your GoPro warranty. There is also a small chance that you could brick your GoPro. I won't be held responsible if anything screws up. Commence the explanation. Placing the autoexec.ash file in the root directory of the memory card will make the GoPro execute that script upon booting. Now, let me make a note here. I had some issues with the script not loading on an existing GoPro memory card. So I had to remove all the files and folders on the memory card, just leaving the autoexec.ash file. If you encounter this issue, I highly recommend starting with a clean memory card. Here's what the GoPro Hero 2014 script looks like from Conrad IT. Line one. The command, sleep one, is fairly straightforward. It simply tells the GoPro camera to pause for one second. Line two. This command indicates it will press the mode button once, which puts the GoPro camera into photo mode. Line three. Here's another one second pause command. Line four. Here, the GoPro will register a record button press. This will take a photo. Line five. Here's another one second pause command. Line six. The last command is to reboot the GoPro camera. Line seven. This line is left intentionally blank. If this line is not blank, then the GoPro camera will not run the script. So that's the original Conrad IT script, and that's what each line of code does. But I want to put the GoPro camera into a loop mode so it doesn't need to waste time rebooting after every single shot. And I learned how to do this from the two script files from user Colossus5421. The main thing that I've done is make the initial boot script pause for one second, change the mode to photo mode, and then run the second script, which is called autoexec2.ash. So essentially the first script is purely to put the GoPro camera into the photo mode, and the second part of the script is instructing the camera how long between each shot. Here you can see in the second script that I instruct the GoPro to pause for five seconds, then take one photo and repeat this script. The beauty of this script is that all you need to do is modify the length of time between each photo. As an example, if you want to take a photo every 30 seconds, then all you would need to do is change the command from sleep 5 to sleep 30. I don't know if there's an upper limit, so if you discover one, then let me know down in the comments. And because I'm such a nice guy, I created a GitHub resource for you to download the script files automatically. The link for that is down in the description below. I'm sure there's lots of different things that you can accomplish with the GoPro Hero entry level model that I haven't even touched on here. If you figure out a really cool hack for your GoPro, then leave your comment down below. And if you're in the market to buy your own entry level GoPro Hero after watching this video, then I've provided a link in the description to purchase it directly from Amazon. If you're digging this video, then why not give me a like or even a thumbs up? And if you feel even slightly entertained, why not subscribe to my channel? If you're a fan or just love my videos, then leave me a comment down below. Or even jump on Twitter and use the hashtag TechWizTimeLove. Tell me what you really love about my videos. It'll only take you two seconds and it will help me to get to know you all better. So go on, what do you have to lose? And as always, imagine, learn, create.